r slash ask reddit what's the most disgusting thing you witnessed in public had a guy fly past me in a neon yellow motorcycle like a speed bike i saw him and then i heard him must have been going 150 plus short while later cops flew past eventually hit a yellow bike broken in half on fire looked like someone dumped a truck bed load of ground beef and egg white on the road still have dreams about it saw a woman at a bus stop try to hack up some phlegm but it caught in her throat so she reached in and pulled it out with her thumb and forefinger retching as she did it was like some cave glow worm she then shook the sticky giblet from her hand onto the pavement grim af my mom used to work for a casino walking through it one time i saw a lady at a slot machine who hadn't showered in god knows how long had a huge brown stain on her dress and the chair she was sitting on had something dripping off of it. Gambling addiction is more than a problem. My dad was a security guard at a casino for 15 years. The chairs at the slot machines were cloth when he started, but they had to change to vinyl because people would piss and shit themselves. He once witnessed a guy mortgage his house and then gamble the money away. He dropped dead on the casino floor. He said there were times he would leave work and come back the next night and the same person would be there gambling wearing the same clothes. People would also leave kids in the parking garage or sneak them into the hotel in suitcases so they could gamble. This carnival I saw a girl standing, pissing herself and kissing a guy at the same time. Piss going down her legs and everything on a Sunday afternoon party. I used to go to the public library to use their computers. I learned that there's plenty of weird guys willing to jerk off under the desks. I learned this too. Went to the library to do homework and wondered why the guy two seats over got up and left after having just sat down 5 minutes later I realized it was cause the guy on the seat in between us was playing with his dick. I was like 10 slash 11 at the time and I was so horrified. I think I just left and went home. I was parked up in Summertown Oxford and watched an old guy stop in the street and shake a massive turd out of his trouser leg before confidently striding off. My buddy was driving me home from jail and while on the interstate, a silver sedan zoomed right through the median at 70 miles per hour or faster and hit the back tire of the truck in front of us. The truck wasn't a semi, but it had like, 8 massive tires on it. Needless to say I was shocked when when that tiny plastic sedan managed to knock that truck over. We got out, being that we were one vehicle behind the crash, to go see if she was okay somehow. She was decapitated. When I walked into the train on 125th at rush hour like 6 months ago, a woman was at the bottom of the entrance steps bent over with her pants and underwear down, and her bare ass facing the steps, just having straight liquid diarrhea all over the floor which we all had to basically walk over to get onto the platform. I felt bad, because she was homeless and clearly was probably not in the right state of mind. What made it even worse was I ran into my boss who I wasn't very close with at all while walking to the train and we ended up walking together and basically had to continue our awkward small talk while sidestepping over the scene. Someone decided to dump his explosive diarrhea from a bridge into the water and I witnessed everything. A lot stayed on the bridge. A junkie who I just gave knock to, he grabbed a dirty needle and tried to stab a waitress who just wanted to help him. You killed my bus he said. Covered in his own shit. Vomit and foaming from the mouth. Blood coming from his nose. Lucky she didn't get stuck with his needle. I have three for you. They are fairly evenly tied. Edit. I'm adding a trigger warning here as I realize mine are less disgusting and more disturbing. So take caution reading ahead. I witnessed a motorcycle accident where a guy was going maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour, riding with shorts and flip flops, and when he turned his bike tipped and was too heavy for him to keep up, it fell onto his leg and slid a few feet, taking his lower leg with it. I will never forget seeing the tendons muscle and broken bones or hearing his screams as he felt his leg get torn off. The second, driving on a freeway at night we saw a car flipped over and the driver had not been wearing a seatbelt. He got thrown hundreds of feet away, and his girlfriend was holding his skull and his brain was spilled on the road. He was still alive, and trying to talk, we stayed with him, until the ambulance arrived. And last, I was at a stoplight on my way to work. A lady at the bus stop on this busy road got on all fours, 
pulled her pants down with her rear end facing the street, gave birth. The baby plopped out and just fell onto the sidewalk along with urine and feces, as is common in childbirth. Not her fault really, but if you've ever witnessed childbirth, you can imagine how horrifying it was to turn and see that at 7am on a Tuesday with no warning. And of course I've had the usual piss and shit stories but nothing really phases me anymore after these. Was on the bus and there was a couple. The gentleman took a seat and the lady was standing. About 10 minutes later he started loudly sniffing her crotch like a dog, grabbing her ass etc, making the loud licking noises. Pretty you. Saw a guy take a shit at this very busy intersection in Redondo Beach. He dropped a deuce pulled up his pants and kept walking. It was really something to see. More disturbing than disgusting, but when I was 13 my family was going to Chicago on a train. On the way back a lady was at the far side of the platform. I still don't know what she said, but my mom's jaw dropped, my dad screamed stop, causing me to turn at and see the lady step right in front of the train. My mom grabbed my eyes to late. Plus it didn't stop the blood splatter. We ended up going back to my uncle's for a few more days, and he drove us home that weekend. I'm a teacher. Had one student, a girl to boot, who sneezed into her hands very loudly during class, cue in everyone staring at her, including me because I was shocked someone could even sneeze like that, it was more like a scream, and while everyone was looking at her in silence, hands covered in loads of snot and god knows what stuff, that drippled to the ground in long strains, she proceeded to sort of snort it all up again from her disgusting hands, licking her palms and fingers clean even, all in a matter of seconds that seemed to last an eternity. I was that close to throwing up on the spot. In fact, I might want to do that now. A man with his hand in the air, very dramatically slitting his wrists with a razor. Now I understand this is most probably a cry for help, but it was 2pm on a sunny day in summer, on a busy street, with kids everywhere. Went to the cinema to watch Looper. There was a strange noise behind me like a rustling. Turn around and some girl is giving a vicious hand job to get BF and tracky bottoms. Full thick cock out. Unashamedly carried on. It was Looper for duck's sake. While I was sitting in my car in the dark smoking a cigarette then a raggedy ass homeless dude was 2 meters away from me. He pulled his pants down quickly, dropping a giant turd, pulled his pants up, and went on his way. As if nothing happened he didn't wipe either this only took like 5 seconds. On my second deployment I saw my first open mass grave. I was eating a nice meal with my fiance. Look out the window to see a homeless man. Just going for a piss on his friend, who was sleeping, like, a dark yellow, blood color, only for his friend to get up and chase him with a large looking knife thing. Sad thing is, about 3 days later he was found dead on the floor outside the same restaurant. Took a greyhound to Lexington, Kentucky back about 20 years ago. A man sat next to me, only carrying a Walmart bag. Inside this bag he had 3 cans of tuna and a jar of mayonnaise. Dumped all contents inside, then proceeded to eat it directly out of the bag using only his mouth. I had to sit next to him for 4 more hours after this, and the farts were more diabolical than anything my dog has ever done. I also was working as a server in a restaurant on the night we had our seafood buffet, and a man's colostomy bag fell off right onto the floor near the crab legs. The smell was worse than anything else I have ever smelled since, and I've worked in composting. Happened to me, as a teen, I was riding my horse with a group of people on the river bank that bordered the barn I rode at. We were looking for a low spot to take the horses into the water at, so we were bareback with no shoes slash phones. Saw something weird on the bank, got off to investigate, and as I got closer something warm and wet and rancid squelched between my bare toes. It registered in my brain that I was staring at the decomposing torso of a human the same time I started dry heaving and vomiting. I was standing, barefoot, in all of the fluids and fat that had started melting off of the torso under the summer sun. I will never forget that smell. Someone got ran over by a car. Apart from 3 good civilians who wear clothes by I saw about 20 people take their phones out to film it, and one person live streaming through assuming Instagram or something. Two teenage girls, sitting on a ledge, with two guys, one for each, in between their legs with their pants down. 
It was the middle of the night, and I was walking home from the club. These teens were just getting it on on the side of the road couple side by side outside at night. They stopped awkwardly until I passed, and then continued I guess. Coming home late from the pub, at the train station we grabbed a burger from the van there. Walked up onto the platform and there was a policeman dragging a tarp along the platform. While another was on the tracks picking up the bigger parts there was a trail of blood and smaller parts down the middle of the tracks. Pretty grim. Being young and drunk at the time I don't think I realized the gravity of what had happened. It has stuck with me though. Saw someone hit by a bike and his leg broke clean from the hip, but the skin stayed attached for long enough for the leg to swing right back round and over his head. It was the noise of the impact that haunted any silences I had for about a month. Saw a poor woman cyclist's guts spread across the ground post being run over by a truck. I didn't see the actual accident. Just the aftermath from my office building. It was really difficult to look at. Saw a man take a shit on a shop counter in Houston, Texas. He was refused game tickets by a racist shopkeeper. First two, disturbing. Last one, good for him. I was sitting with my baby at one of the eateries at the San Francisco Zoo. At the table right next to us we are two women and about three kids. One of the women takes a potty chair with a bag out from under one of the strollers and sets it on the ground between our tables. She then takes one of the little girls, who was maybe two, pulls down her pants, so she was exposed to the entire restaurant and sits her down on the potty, where the little girl then does her business. There was a bathroom 15 feet away. She wipes her, puts the shit napkins and bag of shit on the tray, pulls her pants up and they leave. Left the shitty napkins and mess for the teens working there to clean up. When I was leaving, I noticed a puddle of piss under the area where the potty was. So the bag had a leak. I notified the cashier immediately who just stared at me like I was crazy. Unbelievable. This also reminded me of the time I was having a smoke outside of my bar in North Beach and this little old lady lifts up the lid of the recycling bin. I didn't think much of it as it happens all the time. I looked back and she had a one year old spraying diarrhea all over our recycling and the bin which we store inside. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.